Welcome back again to Mega Man X. We had taken out Boomer Quanger. We need to take out Sting Chameleon. But I had remembered where that heart energy tank I was forgetting last time is. Sitting in the early parts of Armored Armadillo's place. Also gives me a chance to stock back up on energy. To refill the tanks and get extra lives since apparently using a password gets rid of your extra lives. Sadly. But the rolling shield comes in handy yet again. Just pop all those weak single hit enemies. Not getting many pellets out of them. There was a Windows update yesterday that seemed to make everybody's computer not happy. And then they re-updated and things hopefully are fine today, so... I had to redo this whole bit. Other people I know said that they were playing games and their computer's processor was running at like... twice the strain doing things that it normally would. Like somebody would play EVE and run two clients at the same time and one was putting their processor up to 60%. So, dual boxing wasn't happening yesterday that easy. And likewise, my run and capture wasn't running that easy. But anyway. No extra life out the bubble bat? Come on now. There we go. You know you want to give me more. But anyway, the energy tank we forgot about is back here. That you have to trigger the drilling mold machine, whatever it is. The digger. Just killing it for good measure. But there's that energy tank. And now, other than the stuff from Sting Chameleon's level, we have all the things. That was one full energy tank. Oh. Three. So cool. Other than the one I just got, we're at full power. There was a password for... Such such completion plus one E tank. On to the jungle. <clears throat> of the bosses in this game, Stink Chameleon is always one of my favorites. Not just because of the green factor, but He's got a cloaking field, he can walk on walls, he's got energy attacks, a crazy long tongue, etc, etc. He's got a lot of powers compared to some of the other bosses that just, like, do one thing. Anyway, the mini boss is up top here stomping around, and rocks are falling because of it. If you did not have your helmet upgrade, these rocks would hurt you when they fall down, but your head smashes right through them. And if we would have not went to launch Octopus already, there would not be water in this stage. Like, all those little pools early on wouldn't have had water for those skimmer spider things to skim. And you would have had to, like, do a leap of faith and shoot a boomerang out there to get it without the water. So, do a, do a slide jump and you'll get right over there with the water being around. And then we gotta hop up here deal with the cyclops on top of the mountain aim for the eye well the center eye so the rest of him is invincible yep <laughs> If you get grabbed by that chain, it'll whip you against the wall. 
Oh. Accidentally hit slide on that last jump and hucked myself off the wall at him. <laughs> yeah, like that. There we go. Once he starts puffing, you know he's actually getting smacked up, and then he'll start puffing faster. Come on, bigness. There we go. Why did his claw explode in a goo-like manner? This capsule contains a new type of body armor. It will reduce damage to your systems by 50%. Short and sweet. Thanks, Doc. Didn't need to have a small heart to heart like when you got the sliding boots. Um, armor got, wall destroyed. Okay. And yeah, no more falling rocks because bigness isn't up there. Well, okay. Less falling rocks. The sentient ones are still there. Rock monster. Rock monster. And for some reason, the jungle versions of the little helmet guys will shoot worms at you. Don't specifically know why, but that's what they do. Ow. Luckily, all damage has been reduced by 50%. And oh yeah, time for one of my favorite facets of Mega Man X. Exosuits. Mega Man Exosuit. <laughs> As always, slide punch is your friend. It hits multiple times as you press forward, so crush them all. And a nifty game mechanic that if you aren't in a suit and approach a guy, oh shit, you weren't supposed to be there. Guess maybe I was in the suit from too close, but anyway, usually, yeah. If you don't have a suit, they spawn outside of it to give you somewhat of a chance to survive if you can't mash fire as quick as I did back there. <laughs> but sadly, no, no taking this into the boss fight. And it is time to utilize the boomerang we earned last time. Remember that if you're standing, it curves up. If you jump... Well, I guess I hit the ground too quick. If you jump, it curves down. Or fire while you're airborne. I don't have the room to fire while I'm airborne in that little hallway. Oh yeah, even though I just said it. There we go! Ow. And yeah, when you attach the ceiling, watch out for those falling spikes. And do not touch the ceiling either, because it's got spikes. Bada boom! Now we've got a weird energy triple shot like he was flinging out of his tail and the charged up version lets you go multi-spectrum invincible for a short time. You can just walk right through enemies. I don't think it deals damage to him like the shield does, but yeah, you can just phase right through stuff and keep on shooting the triple shot. Or the chameleon sting. Yeah, we saved the best for last. Now we have green Mega Man X. Haha. Uh -huh. And there's the password. So, join me next time and we'll start plugging through Sigma stages. Or actually, no. We gathered all the things. It'll be time to go back to Spark Mandrel and try to get the Hadouken. Hadouken! Like, share, subscribe, and I'll be back.